Good evening, folks. My name is Anthony Johnson. Today, I'm starting my first show. It's called The Other Side. Today, I have with me Mr. Renard Miller. He's my first guest, Mr. Renard Miller. Yes, yes. Thank yes. you for coming. Thank Not a problem. Here. In fact, Anthony, you know, I called you to come here. <laughs> when I heard you were having this show, and I and I saw, you know, what you said you were going to be talking about, I said, I, I come with my notes. I want to ask you. I got to find out what's going on. I got a final what's going on, man. So my first thing is, I want you to explain to the people what this show is going to be talking about. Oh my because goodness. we need to know um, exactly what's going on, man. Thank you so much, mm -hmm. Ray. The show, mm -hmm. the other side. We're going to be talking about a series of different topics, a series of different things, all different kinds of things. But let me first say this, folks. Mm -hmm. My primary focus, the primary reason why I decide to move towards a show like this, is simply because I want to be dealing with hurting people people that is hurt my purpose I'm moving in my purpose then I feel the pain I feel the struggles of people when I see the things that is happening in our society today so many some good things but a whole lot of negative things I believe that we can do better as a people I believe that there are some things that we can do to help other people mm -hmm. there are so many challenges challenging things then that we can do to make things better yeah, in this I, country. Yeah, I gotta ask you, man, because I just what will make you the right person for this job, man. I I I hear you, but I gotta understand, Mr. Miller. Mm -hmm. I am so happy that you asked that question. Yeah, based on my experience, uh -huh. my family experience, I have encountered some extremely difficult challenges there. Mm -hmm. Some extremely diff uh, difficult challenges, Mr. Mm -hmm. Miller. Right, where I have. From a family perspective, from my family perspective, right, right, right. Um, I have been through the most, some of the most trying times of a human being, right. And in those struggles that I've encountered, mm -hmm. you know, I have been led to this place where I'm at today, right. To find that, that part where I can build, help build people that is broken there, people that are hurting there, right. That's right, right. my purpose for living. Yeah, that's yeah. my purpose from this point on in my life. I was going to yes. do that. Nothing, nothing. Okay, so you. You already experienced a lot of things, right? You got some people around here. For example, I was on the basketball court the other day. The young man tell me straight and plain, say, man, I ain't worrying about no school. And so we had a deep conversation about school. He said, he ain't worrying about no school, man. I was telling him about putting away guns and all that other stuff like that. He said, man, what make you think I have a gun? I say, man, listen, I just assume. And I just, just randomly speaking. Mm -hmm. He say, so what if I have it? Because at the end of the day, the only way I can feed myself is to do things that are wrong. So I said, what wrong things? The fellas, I can't say it uh, to you, but wrong things. So I said, man, hold on now. I said, what, 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 what could transpire in this fella's mind to have him to think that way at such a young age? And so what you're going to do for those persons who are going through things like that, for the girl who, who got raped and looking for some sort of um, uh, way she could recover from things, from the females who sell, who were prostituted. You understand things? What people are going through, man, this real stuff. People don't have food wow. eating in the house, man. What, what you could do with regards to helping them with, with, with Mr. this kind of show? Mr. Miller, this show here. Uh huh. What happened, all of those things that you mentioned just now, mm -hmm. all those, it's the reason why those things are happening in our society. Right. It's the reason for that. But those young people, those young people need to right. find their sense of purpose. Their purpose, okay? Yeah. What happens is that if a person is out of their purpose, they, if they're living out of their purpose, mm -hmm. anything, anything, they're not doing the things that they were bought here on earth to do. They're not living up to their values then. Right. So we need to, we need to help these people to understand that they, are, they have worth. They have values. Their life is value mm -hmm. something. Their white their life is value so much. But we need to help them to understand and see those things that they need to do. We need to teach mm -hmm. them. We need to show them how to move away from that negative way of thinking mm -hmm. to find a way or to find themselves free. To, to discover themselves. Once a person discovers themselves, they discover life. Purpose. Purpose. All the gifts and talent that lies within them. Right. Those things comes out through their purpose. Your purpose is about your gifts and talent. Mm -hmm. What would happen once a young person, not just a young person, anybody, 
Yeah. Anybody find themselves because I'll be quite honest with you. I'll be quite honest with you. The vast majority of people in our country are lost. Mm -hmm. They are lost in the and it has nothing to do with age. It has nothing to do with the ages. Mm -hmm. What happened is that when a person is out of place, simply because they are out of their purpose then, mm -hmm. anything can happen. Once you find your purpose, mm -hmm. your whole life is enlightened because you understand who you are. Mm -hmm. You understand your values. Sir. You understand the good that lies within you and the things that you can do to help embellish other people's life because that's our purpose. Our purpose is to build each other, mm -hmm. to love and to care and to respect one another. Oh, you know I, mean? <laughs> I will see you do it. I right. can't wait to see the next the next person you bring on because I know you you bring on broken people. I want to see what you can do. Right. I want to see how you can yes. do that. Yes. See, right. In order for people to understand mm -hmm. themselves, in order for people to really trust you, Ray, mm -hmm. you have to first understand people. Right. You have to understand someone. You have to feel their pain. Right. You have to because based on your your experience, if you are a, a compassionate or if you are a caring person, mm -hmm. you have to feel other people's pain. Mm -hmm. Only when people see they, or believe that you understand them, they will begin to trust you. If a person do not understand, or right. they will never trust you. If they don't believe in you, how can they trust you? They can't. No. So you, once you learn to understand and show people that you care yeah. and you concern about their predicament mm -hmm. or what they are going through they would open themselves to you and when they open themselves to you then you know how you can help them you you move in and help those people that's the way to go that's the key that's wow, the key. Look here. i get much more time but look here anthony man thank you for letting me come in on your face it's thing. a pleasure i can't wait to watch the rest <laughs> i gotta see this i got this i know you're good but you can you can prove yourself even more when, when these people start coming. <laughs> Thank in. you so much, Ray. No problem. Thank you so much, you folks. Man. I appreciate that. Thank you, Ray. I appreciate you so no much. No problem, man. Anytime That's you know I'm always here. We are here for you. <laughs> the other side. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you.